I host a weekly video chat for my Patreons, answering any questions they may have. The talks are very vast, but the conversation always centers around MS recovery. I've achieved it, and it has completely changed my life. Hey, it's Dave. I was talking with Angela in our recent latest chat. She's the first person to admit it takes dedication, focus, and a little faith. She often tells me she is so thankful she found me. She is feeling significant MS recovery. This changes start small but eventually grow over time. She asked me, what was the spark that drove me in the very beginning? So I told her my journey. I shared my setbacks and victories that I had. And after our chat ended, I watched the video recording and I was left feeling a little empty and I wish I had explained it better. I felt that I didn't truly answer the question the way I wanted it. Let me ask you something. Do you ever feel you can't explain what you start, but it ends up what you did was com completely the right thing to do? We all live in a constant and ever-changing learning environment. And looking back over my recovery journey, I realized MS recovery is learning. Learning environments can be split into two different categories. The first one are kind ones, where patterns repeat and specialists get better with experience. For instance, playing chess. But MS recovery doesn't fall into that category. With MS, they often tell us to do one thing or another. I'm not a newcomer to MS. I was diagnosed with MS in 2004. Wow. It was 20 years ago. So I did all of them. But they didn't work like I hoped it would. I thought my MS would go away when I followed that kind learning environment. I mean, if it was a kind learning environment, we would have an exact list of foods to eat and what foods to avoid. We have exact activities to do and to avoid, and even exact medications to take. But how many MS medications are, medications are, out, are out there right now? And if we did everything right, our MS would simply go away. My journey began in 2013. So in 2013, I had experienced or I had ex was approaching my 10 year MS anniversary. I was desperate, fatigued, in pain, so many symptoms, I was hopeless. Sure, I'll admit I had many happy moments during that time but my MS symptoms controlled every single aspect of my life. I'm the kind of person to take a chance. I'm introverted, but in my quiet way, I'm always willing to put my proverbial heart on the line. Always willing to push myself more than what 
anyone says I should have in the past. So without even realizing what I was doing, I became wicked to second form of learning environments. In a wicked learning environment, there is a lot of spontaneity and unpredictably involved in experience that don't necessarily correlate with immediate success. But despite not having the instantaneous success and changes, I never give up. Over time, I embraced that journey and I felt little changes happening over time. And I wish it was better and I wish it was different than that, but that's how it is. And now Angela is even telling me she's experienced those little changes and they are, I think they're growing. So she's becoming wicked as well. Walking the same recovery path I walked. Want to become wicked like us and truly recover from my mess? Want to join us in our wicked chat? I'll put a link down in the description. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. And also check out my Patreon page. Until the next one.